of that was made inside the new Canva video editor. Canva 2.0 is faster, cleaner, and packed with features creators have been begging for. But it's not perfect, yet. Let me walk you through the stuff you'll actually use, and some little tricks that'll save you a ton of time. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to show you a few techniques on how to use the new video editor. Let me show you what I figured out so far. I've been experimenting with it, and today I'll basically build a real simple video. So I'll go to Elements and search for Landscape. I'll just choose this one and put it right down here for now. This is what I call my foundation layer, and you'll see in a few minutes some other things I'll add to this. If you want to add a page, you just click here. For now, I'm just going to choose blank, but you can choose one of these others if you need to. I'll add a couple other things down here. I'm going to lengthen these a little bit. You can also just drag it over here. Sometimes you just have to play with it a little bit. All right, so I have three scenes, pages, whatever you want to call them, and now I'll add some other things. So I'll click here and choose these, then shrink them a little bit. You see Canva put it right over here. That's because that's where my playhead is, right? So wherever your playhead is, that's where it's going to add something when you click on it. But I want it to be over here, so I'll drag it over like that. Now you see it's there, but it's on a layer above it. So now you gotta start thinking more about working with layers. We can see they're moving, click on the actual page. So it's moving, but it's not going anywhere. So what I'll do is take this and stretch it to fit. Now I'll come over here, pull this over like that, and I'm gonna click on Animate, just like before. Click on the B, and then we're just gonna kinda of pull it across. So that's pretty much the same as before. Then click Done. If you didn't like it, you could delete the path and redo. But what if we wanted those birds flying from one side to the other? We could always duplicate it. I'll keep them all on the same layer for now and duplicate it, then put this over here. How about if we had someone walking? So I'm still in the animated area in Elements, right? So I'll move this back to the beginning and choose this guy. If you're on the Pro plan, you can choose either. If you're on the Free plan, just make sure that you choose images or graphics that don't have the crown on them. For now, I'll take this guy and I'll flip him. Now I'll go to Animate, click on the B, and move him like this. And we can make it smooth or steady, and also change the speed. Then we click Done. Maybe we want a helicopter. Let's give this one a shot. Since I've got the birds in the scene, I'll need to adjust this a bit. There we go. So the helicopter's over here. I'll scoot it over, click Animate, now, here's the thing that's kind of weird right now. Even though we're on this page, it's showing this one. So just remember you're on this page. I don't know if they're going to change that or not, but that's the way it is for now. Maybe I'll keep it a little bit faster and choose steady. And then maybe we want to add something extra here. So how about, how about this plane? So I'll take the plane and put it right up here. Okay. I'm gonna click on the background and I'm going to click here on edit. Then I'm going to click on magic grab. I'll grab this tree here. So now you see the tree is on a completely new layer. I don't want it on these layers because it doesn't belong there, only on that one. So I'll pull it over like that. So now we'll have the tree above it. To fix that, if we want the birds to fly in front of the tree, we'll need to keep them behind it. And now it's going to go behind that tree. If you want to add music, you can. If you click right here to add audio, it'll take you directly to the audio section here. You could also add voiceovers right in here. I'll take this back to the beginning because remember, wherever the playhead is, is where it'll add it at, right? So you could add any of these musics or sounds but for now, if you click on Add Audio, it's gonna take you to these choices here inside Canva. And just for an example, I'll show you how to add something real quick. If you wanna listen to them, you click here. And then if you decide you want to use any of these, you can grab this one and put it right down. You can also fade in, and if you'll notice down here, it'll change. 
Another thing that's really fun to do is if you double click on it, you can move this around. So if you want to set it at a different place in the audio, you can change that. You can also go back if you want to click here between these, same as before. You can add media if you want to, you can add pages, stock photos, etc. by clicking here. If you click this one, you can add transitions. So come here and play with it yourself and try it out. I think if you play with it enough, you'll really like it. It just takes a while to get used to it because it's different. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.